nobody there. No, that was that was a moment of it was a mixed emotion moment, you know, because like prior prior to like because prior to that time when I began to actually share my work, like I would like I would just do like a lot of writing uh, all the time. Like I would just write and then you know didn't share them with nobody, you know, really, but my family, you know, sporadically or whatever, you know, whenever. I never forget. That's when I had my first major break. You know, I found poetry website. The Lord told me at the time I was young, and and I really, I really wasn't too close to God back then. You know, I wasn't like real close to the Lord, but I did know somewhat. You know, not what I know now though. Nowhere near what I know now, but what I knew it was kind of you know somewhere. But but the first time you know I submitted, my started submitting my stuff, and people read it and people of that time really did like what I you know they loved it you know I was you know I said it was it was uh shocking to me because I didn't know I had no idea that you know uh my that, that my that, that my stuff my voice would be something that people wanted to hear uh, and it was then I actually uh started getting like real excellent feedback for my stuff and from that point on, it just became a, it was a dick. It just was like an addiction. You know, I just, I started, you know, I, I, I started, uh, I didn't live for praise, you know, just like I didn't live for condemnation, but it inspired me. I started inspiring myself, you know, because before that point, I didn't, I didn't see myself in a, you know, you know, in a light, whereas, you know, I was just pretty much adhering to the values that was implanted into my mind from society or and from the devil because I wasn't too close to God then. But then I started to realize that, okay, I got something going with this. Then from that point on, I just took off and it's been a blessing ever since, you know. Poetry gave me hope and, and pretty much may have saved my life on numerous occasions, you know. Um, I love it, you know. You know, poetry is what I live for, what I die for, you know. That's that's me. I'm all, you know, I love it. The writing, the ink, my queer feathers and ink. You know, <laughs> still felt its release, you know, <laughs> and, this, and, I, and it just gives me joy. And, you know, that's why, that's why, I, you know, I uh, inspire, you know, I, I would, I would, you know, propose that all individuals with a passion, you know, they, they do it, man. Put, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever it is you want to do, you put your, you put your hand to that plow. And you're going to make it happen. Anything is possible. You know, I learned. I was, I just, you know, uh, I didn't have much. You know, when I started, I just didn't have nothing but a pencil. You know, and then a vision. A pencil and a vision of where, you know, where I wanted to be. And I and I became where I wanted to be, you know. I predicted that I would be here through poems of that time period, you know. And I'm actually here where I said I would. And then those poems that I even wrote, people love, you know. And, and and when 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 you when and it, it's not it's not an ego thing or ego boost or anything of that nature, but when you realize that the things that you saying and writing or whatever can make a difference in somebody else's life, then from there it just starts. You know, it's just a compounding effect. You know, it just it it creates it inside you. You know, it, it, I feel like it gives more fuel or oil to your light or your wick, you know, because it lets you know that I, I am doing something and what I'm doing is not only fulfilling myself and it's not only doing what God want me to do, but it's also actually doing something I, which as I would later learn was a direct connection with God, you know, <laughs> but over time you learn that kind of stuff. But my first time I, um, I really got, got uh, carried away with what I was doing, it was a uh, it was breathtaking for me. You know, I started joining, um, you know, groups, uh, different kind of groups and workshops and, you know, stuff like where, where writers that, you know, writers could even virtually uh, connect, you know, because me being a child, you know, for, you know what I'm saying, on the less fortune, I didn't have a silver spoon, so I didn't have, you know, the, the luxury of, you know, being around big time writing presses or, you know, companies or publishing companies where I would be able to just go down the street or something and, you know, 
have my stuff looked at or, or viewed or anything like that. Like, you know, I, I didn't have that uh, luxury, you know. So I used the Internet. And, and the Internet is just the same as, as anything. Really, it's real life, you know, because everything goes to and through the Internet these days. So it's, it's real life, the Internet, you know. And I pretty much moved my poems from a folder to the web, and people love me. And, you know, I tell you anything, you know, just, just stay stay true, stay you, and be cool, you know, what you do, you know, no matter what, you just, just, just you know what I'm saying, keep it, keep it, keep it basic, you know, in a sense, you know what I'm saying, don't do too much, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying, do enough, your unique puzzle piece is exactly what the world missing. You know, even if it seems you that ain't a bland, a bland, a bland to you, then that doesn't necessarily mean that's the, that's really the case in all reality. You know, break away from all those, uh, you know, all degradation and stagnant, you know, or, or shrunken or diminishing self images or whatever it is that enemy say you try to put into your psyche. You know, you get past all that and, you know, break through it. And who knows what, what you can do. I mean, look at me, you know. And to this day, I still can't believe it, you know. But, hey, God is good. And, he, and he's still moving and still working, you know, to this day. You know. And I can't help but be grateful. Come a long way. Been through so much. Finally made it. <laughs> through the story, you know. And hopefully if I can be anything, I will hope it to be an inspiration, you know. That may, it may sound corny or whatever, but I don't really care. You know, it's true, you know, uh, life, that's what life all about, I live to be corny, you know. But I just by use that uh, small minds, you know, impose against great minds, corny, you know. So I, uh, I'm happy, you know, with all I've accomplished thus far uh, in my profession, you know, with, with what I do and what I love to do, you know, uh, I continue to do it. I'm in it for forever, you know.